what you're ready for this man hey guys welcome to another episode of big vapors and in this episode we're going to do a quick review on the new uh, version 2 V2 Ego Clearomizers, also known as the Stardust. And yes, this is the new version 2 Ego Clearomizer. So this is the one with the changeable coil heads. You can actually take the coil heads off and change them. So essentially, this tank, this Stardust, this Vision 2 Ego Clearomizer, is a Frankenstein of the original or the last version Stardust. So this is the current Stardust that's on the market, um, the one that's most popular right now. It's the shorter wick one, not the longer wick one. This is a VV Nova, okay? And the VV Nova has interchangeable coil heads. It comes apart. And then that's the new v uh, ver version 2 V2 uh, Ego Clearomizer uh, or Stardust. Wow, that is a mouthful. There is so much confusion and so many different terms when it comes to all the Vision Tanks. Vision Tanks are great. They have their pros and cons. I did a video recently. I'll put the link in the description where I compared the uh, Vision uh, Ego Clearomizer Stardust to the Stone Tank and the VV Nova. So three uh, popular tanks from Vision. But they just have so many tanks and so many iterations of those tanks and branding and versioning that it's extremely confusing when it comes uh, to all the tanks that Vision has to offer, especially when vendors get a hold of these tanks and then they start branding them and naming them uh, whatever they want, whatever's easiest for the for them to sell and whatever's the popular term at the time uh, to, to sell them. So it becomes very, very difficult. So without spending a whole lot of time <clears throat> trying to go through the history of how these Vision tanks uh, came to be, real quickly let's just talk about the Stardust and the fact that the, all the Stardust that have currently been on the market, none of those are officially a version 2 Stardust by Vision. Some vendors named them or branded it the version 2 or V2 because they had already called the other Stardusts or clear misers they had the V1 and it just made it easier when it came time to sell it oh this is the V2 so they sequentially gave it a number uh, to better market it to better sell it to better index it on their site it's not that they were lying it's not that they were trying to you know pull the wool over anyone's eyes it was just easier for them to do it unfortunately it's caused some confusion um, to the buyer so you had the original uh, Stardust's our Vision Clear Misers that came out a while ago, the CE2s, they were okay. Um, then you had CE3 ones that came out, uh, bottom feeders, not bad. And then the, the CE4, which is the most popular. So you have the CE4 Vision uh, Ego Clear Misers, which were extremely popular. That's basically this one here, and that's the one with the short wick. You know, these average anywhere from five to seven bucks, depending on where you get them. They last a couple weeks. They're a great device for your for your ego, and they work on other devices too, like the, the new Lavitube, which has an ego connection on it, etc., etc. Then they came out with the same one, so the same Stardust, but they added longer wicks, so they gave it more of a wick, similar to like the Stone Tank. The Stone Tank had long wicks, and that's what they did with the with the Stardust. They added these longer wicks on there for better wicking and better vapor. And then everyone started calling those the Version 2 or the V2 Ego Clearomizers because it was new and it was the next one up from what everyone knew was the ver Version 1. But it's incorrect. They were just longer wicked. Um, Vision Ego Clearomizers. They just had a longer wicking system than the one before it. So another iteration, a different type. So it's like various different versions of a car or various different versions of software. Like with iPhone, you can have iOS, you know, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, etc., etc., until you hit 5, the next version. So that's what Vision did, is they had these iterations of the Stardust, of the of the Vision Ego Clearomizer, 
where you could almost essentially call it the 1, the 1 1.2, the 1.3, the 1.4, where they made small changes. This is the new, improved version 2 Ego Clearmizer, officially version 2 from Vision, that allows for changeable coil heads. So like the VV Nova, you can get coil heads in 1.8 ohms, 2.4 ohms, and 2.8 ohms, and you can take the head right off. You can unscrew the head from the tank so it actually comes apart you can also see that there is a difference in size when it comes to these tanks because you can take it apart easily so let's go to a close-up so you can see how this works okay so here is a close-up of the new version 2 so v2 ego clear miser that's this one here and next to it is the older version um, of the vision clear miser right here so you can see there are a couple differences right off the bat for starters these both have uh, short wicks on them um, as you know you can get um, you can get this uh, stardust with longer wicks uh, improperly branded as the version 2 and the new version 2 with changeable coil heads you can get coil heads that have longer wicks and shorter wicks uh, depending on the ohms not exactly sure why they do that but you can get them um, with various different wick sizes um, so as you can see uh, the new vision 2 ego clear miser is a Frankenstein of this stardust and the VV Nova so the VV Nova also has short wicks and changeable coil heads now, right off the bat, you can see the real main difference is height. And the height is different because this Vision Stardust can be taken apart. So because the point of this Stardust is to take it apart, we have this extra base here, and this is where you unscrew it. So basically what I can do is I can unscrew this from here, and the entire tank and drip tip will slide right off. And then it looks a lot like a VV Nova inside. So it has that same core design. It has a similar base in terms of its texture and its look and feel. And then we have the coil head at the top, which is changeable. So all you do is squeeze and turn, and these coil heads come right off. So you have a very similar looking coil head to the uh, VV Nova. Um, almost identical, in fact, I believe they are the same coil heads, and you can use VV Nova coil heads on your uh, new Vision 2 Ego Stardust or Clearmizer. It is the same threading, and it's the same coil head design, so you can actually use the exact same coil heads on here. So it's really as simple as that. It unscrews, you change the coil head. Some have longer wicks, some have shorter wicks, and then you just put the tank back on, push, screw, and there you go. So very, very simple. Uh, you'll notice that this one here actually has some branding. Triple V. This one is branded the V3 Ego Clearmizer C from Vaporous. So what's happened is because of all the confusion with the different clearmizers and the versioning numbers, people have had to come up with new names for these new version 2 uh, Ego clearmizers and or Stardusts, whatever you want to call them. So that's the close-up of these two uh, Stardusts. Now let's take a look at how they vape. Okay, so there you have it. Now you've seen the difference between the V2, uh, the new V2 uh, clearmizer, and the uh, the what they're now calling, or the, sorry, now the most recent one, the official version 2, which has the interchangeable coil heads. And like I said in that close-up video, you can actually use the coil heads that come with your VV Nova. You can use the same coil heads on those version 2 uh, Stardusts. And they're branded various different names. I got mine from, from Vaporous, and it's got the triple V on it, and they call it the V3 Ego Clearmizer C. So they go under various different names. Just look for the Stardust or the, the version 2 Clearmizer that has changeable coil heads. So these things vape awesome. I've actually got a nice color tip on here that I got from Smoke Tech. I love being able to change the tips on these now. I know, I'm a geek. Uh, Vapor Geek, and I'm vaping this on my Lava Tube 1.5T, and I've got it at 4.0, uh, sorry, 4 volts, which I actually like uh, on these uh, Stardust, depending on the juice, and they vape exceptionally well. Let's take a look. Let's take a two here. Mmm. A 
lots of vapor, lots of flavor. Um, right out of the box, I mean, I filled it up, put it in, set it up. This is the 2.4 ohm coil head on here, and it vapes great. Almost as good, or pretty similar, I'd say, to the VV Nova. Not much difference, and not a whole lot of difference, um, I would say, with the... Uh, the, the Stardust before it, the Clarimizer before it, except for the fact I can change the coil heads and I can have different ohms, uh, which is great. So the fact that I can have different ohms on here uh, does make uh, a huge difference um, depending on how you vape and what kind of mod you use. Let's take another two, show you again. Mm -mm -mm. So that's the new one of the interchangeable coil heads. Let's take a look at the one before it, its predecessor, so the unofficial version 2 with the shorter wick. Um, see how this bad boy vapes? Also great. They're equal. I mean, the huge benefit of these new Stardust really is the fact that you can change the coil head. That is the point. Um, so now it comes down to really, you now have a choice in ohms, which is great, being able to choose the ohms that you want to use on the Stardust, which is such a wonderful little device. And the price point comes down because now instead of having to spend anywhere from five to seven bucks every few weeks, you can spend, you know, I think anywhere from two to four dollars depending on where you get them. So it's it's a big difference. So you have a really powerful device that's really easy to use that you can very easily customized to different ohm levels and uh, for the price point you know you can't beat it really so I love these things um, no cons for me the only cons that I've heard from some people um, with the longer wicks they've had issues of it wicking right away um, and some people that was the, some tips I saw Vapor Chase talk about this where he likes to unravel uh, the wick a bit. Um, he likes to dry burn them too in the beginning just to get them going. I've heard other people say this that they don't they don't wick properly right away and they need a bit of breaking in. I use my Stardust. I've always used all the Vision uh, Stardusts right out of the box, including the VV Nova, and I've never had any issues with them. For me, they're fine. I just fill it up, give it the old what I like to call the Stardust swirl, and it. I vape away, and if it's a little dry, I just give it a couple puffs until I get it to where I want it to be. So there you have it, the new ver version 2 V2 Ego Clearomizer or Stardust, okay, with the interchangeable coil heads, not the unofficial version 2 with the longer wicks and so on. So hopefully I've, uh, you know, gotten rid of some of that confusion, and, you know, try these things out. They're really great. If you like the Stardust, this is an awesome uh, device to go ahead and have. So I'm just going to leave you with a VV Nova Toot. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. All right. Follow me on Twitter at Digibomb. Check out the website, bigvapors.com, and keep on vaping. All right, y'all ready for this, man? What <laughs> What